Hey Future Millionaires, it's Ellie, AKA Ellie Talks Money. And as you know, I am your favorite business coach. Today, I am going to be talking to you all about how you can get your first Airbnb without owning any property. I need you guys to understand that Airbnb is such a lucrative industry right now. And if you want to be in real estate long term, getting into Airbnb now is a great way to start this process and to start getting your feet wet and understanding how the game works as well as making money. The great thing about getting your first Airbnb without owning anything is there's a very low barrier to entry. And that's exactly what I'm going to go over with you in today's video is how to get it done and how to get your first unit in 30 days or less. So I want you guys to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get right into these Ellie gems. All right, y'all, welcome back into the video. So let's talk about how you can get your first Airbnb without owning any property. And again, you guys can make this happen within your first 30 days. I have helped several students acquire their first, second, third, and more units. And literally they went from no Airbnb to having an Airbnb in 30 days or less. So the first thing that I want you guys to know is that in order to do this the Ellie way, you need to make sure that you have an LLC or an actual registered business entity. What's key about this is I teach you all how to acquire Airbnbs via a corporate lease. And what's key with that is you cannot be a corporate company without having an actual business entity. Now, the reason why doing it as a corporate lease is so important is because this is you entering a business contract and a business relationship with that landlord because you are a business as well. In addition, why that's important is because you want to make sure that with all businesses, everything that has to do with the business is separate from you personally. This is why I teach you guys to do this under your business name so that there's no personal liability on you and you can really scale this up as a system and as a business versus doing everything in your personal name and it's not giving what it's supposed to give, okay? So that's number one. Now, when you do form your LLC, generally I want you guys to be in the property management industry or management services industry. Do your best to avoid including any title like real estate or anything that has the words real estate in it, simply because I want you guys to have the best chance to get lens, lending and funding later on. And sometimes real estate can be seen as a little bit higher risk so I don't want you guys to have to face any issues down the road when you want to get funding. I'll make sure to link down below all about learning what high risk industries are so that whatever business you have, you get a little bit of an idea how you can put best position yourself to lenders to get more funding. Form your LLC, make sure that it's within management services or property management, and you're gonna follow those same steps I always teach you guys with regard to building your business foundation and building business credit. Get your EIN, get your business bank account, get your DUNS number, and then here is the next thing you wanna do. Step two is to make your business verifiable, okay? Everybody comment the word verified down below. Now, what's key about this is when you have the LLC, the EIN, the DUNS number, you really want to ensure that next step is making your business presence known online. So you need to go ahead and buy a domain name as well as get a landing page created. Now, if you're not a tech person like me, I am definitely not you can actually hire someone to create this landing page for you. So the first thing you'll do is go to godaddy.com or Google domains or anywhere such as that and purchase a domain name. Then you want to go to fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, and there you can hire someone to design a simple landing page for you, which can be anywhere from $25 to $60, depending on the level of complexity and their level of experience. Now, the key things that you want to have on your landing page are who you are, your company, who you all serve, and I'll talk to you about that in just a moment, um, samples of other properties you've managed, and I'll give you guys a gem on this, 
and then how to contact you. Now, the reason we set this up is because when we start reaching out to landlords using the scripts that I provide for you all, you want to make sure that you have a place for them to go because they're going to look up your website. They're gonna look up your website. They may also look up your Instagram. So you wanna ensure that there is a web presence so that they know you are a real business operating a real property management or short-term rental management company. Once you have all of that, now you know you're in position to contact landlords. Now, in my Airbnb masterclass, I give you guys all the scripts you need to either email landlords or reach out to apartment complexes all the objections as well that you may face, I show you how to overcome them in those scripts. So I'm gonna link that class down below and give you guys a special discount just for being my YouTube fam. Now, after you've gotten that set up, your next step is to really make sure you identify your niche. So what's key here is just like if you were starting a business online and I teach you guys to identify your niche and your target audience before you start creating content, you wanna ensure as well that when you are creating your about us section on your landing page or who we serve, you want to define, are you going after travel nurses? Are you going after business professionals? Are you going after content creators? Are you going after millennials? You wanna make sure that that is clear on your site and also clear for yourself as a business because when you reach out to landlords, you're partnering with them. You're saying, hey, we love your property. I'm CEO of X Property Management Services and I wanna partner with you all so that I can provide short-term housing solutions to my travel nursing clients all over the country. Now it's very clear who you serve, what you're doing for them, and that you wanna partner with that landlord to make this happen. As well, you wanna be super clear on this so that when you design your site and when you are reaching out to more landlords, they can know and expect who is going to be at their property and what you'll be doing with this. This is also your opportunity to put their mind at ease and let them know that you're gonna guarantee the highest cleanly standards, the highest noise control standards. You're gonna make sure to take care of any kind of maintenance request that could come up because essentially you've gotta think about the pain points of a landlord. They wanna make sure that their rent is paid every month. They don't want any more headaches than all the other tenants they have to deal with so you look like a great business option and a great business partner when you can help ease some of those concerns. You're gonna make sure your rent is paid every month because you're doing it as a business and I teach you how to leverage business credit. You're gonna make sure that it's system systematically taken care of. I show you guys how to make sure you've got cleaners on hand so every check-in, check-out process is very smooth and is very seamless. So now with these three steps, you've gotten your LLC, you've made your business verifiable, you've used the scripts to contact landlords, you've understood your niche, by this point you have gotten the yes. And the wonderful thing is when you sign that corporate lease, always make sure that there's an addendum there that explicitly states you are able to use the property for short-term leasing, short-term rentals. They may even use the words Airbnb there. If you don't see that addendum there before you sign the lease, then I provide you guys with a template as well in the class that you can use to make sure it's added and that just protects you on all other bases. Now your unit is secured, you can start using business credit to go ahead and furnish it. You can start listing and taking amazing pictures. And then we'll get into how to create a system around this so that you're not just managing one unit, but soon you could be managing 10 units. It is so, so amazing how quickly you can scale this business. And again, you're repeating that process and doing this without owning any units at all. So I want you guys to comment below. What questions do you have on this? What did you learn in this video? And what more detail can I provide? As promised, I am going to give you guys access to my Airbnb masterclass, which is linked below. You can also access it and daily tips from me by texting Airbnb to 310-564-0065. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.